SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. Search Engine Optimization is basically about getting your website found better within the Google search engine results. Now at the end of the day, um, if I can't get good results for my website, I have no business teaching you how to do it uh, for your website. So let's see how well I do. If I type in something like SEO Training Perth, which is basically what I do, I do SEO, I do training, and I'm based in Perth. And if you look at these results here, you can see the first uh, three here, this one, this one, and this one, they're actually labeled as adverts, as you can see. Now, in order to be displayed up there, you have to pay an awful lot of money to Google. It's what's called paid results. It's basically an auction system where the more you pay, the higher up you're gonna be in this listing here or indeed in this listing down the side here. So basically all of these ones down the side and up the top, so there's three up the top here and there's all these ones down the side. The only reason they're displayed there is because they paid an absolute fortune to Google in many cases to be displayed there. And that's called um, paid advertising. The first three, the ones down the side, that's paid advertising. I show you how to get um, displayed in the what's called the organic results. So if you move down a bit, so if I just go up there so you can't see the adverts anymore, the organic results are displayed here, and as you can see, the first one here, if you look at the, the, uh, the website, it's www.4seotraining.com.au. The second one is www.4seotraining.com.au. The third one is also www.4seotraining.com.au, which just happens to be my website. So as you can see, you type in SEO Training Perth, and the first uh, three results in this case, uh, that one, that one, and that one, are my website. Now if you think about it, I'm in the worst possible field because by definition, all my competitors are SEO companies, are all supposed to be experts in SEO. And as you can see, despite that, I've actually bagged the first three spots there for SEO training in Perth. Um, if you come on our training courses here in Perth, or if you uh, sign up for our online training uh, resources, I'll show you exactly the same techniques that I use. I can't guarantee you'll get on the first page, but here you are, you can see it on the screen, you can try it yourself on your own computer. Um, I get pretty good results there. And if I widen things out and get rid of the word Perth, again, we've got three adverts here, and we've got a whole bunch of adverts down the side, and happily, look who's first. Ah, oh, that'll be me again. And um, at the risk of showing off, it can be done. Um, it's not a fluke if I go to YouTube. So here we are in YouTube. Let's try the same phrase, SEO training. Again, you've got adverts at the top, so they probably paid a fortune for these. And look who's first. Ah, oh, that'd be me. My name's David Murray. There it is. And uh, if you have a look there, um, that video has been uh, watched over 200,000 times, which is not bad for a free advert. And if you want to try a different phrase, you know, it, uh, you know what you're doing, you can um, basically promote a range of phrases. So instead of training, let's try SEO tutorials. Right, and let's see what we get. The usual adverts at the top, and me again. Um, and if we scroll down a little bit, Ah, oh, me again. Scroll down a bit more, more me. And if we scroll down a little bit more, you can see I'm there. So basically I've got one, two, three, four of my videos displayed on the very first page of YouTube when you type in something like SEO tutorials. And uh, as you've seen, you know, over 200,000 people have watched this video. Um, and I have lots of other videos apart from just that one. So do the maths, it's a very, very easy way of um, getting potential customers, and basically it's free. You've got to know what you're doing, you've got to invest time and effort, but the good news is it's not too much time, it's not too much effort. SEO can be done by um, people without technical skills, you don't need programming skills or anything like that, you just need to know what Google likes and what Google doesn't like. And there's about 200 factors that Google takes into account when it determines which page gets listed first, and which page gets listed last. Some of them are positive, some are negative. Some of those factors have much more weight than others. But basically, you've just got to know what you're doing and how to do it. 
and uh, it's as simple as that. At the end of the day, the best person doing the SEO is you. You know your business, um, you know the sort of phrases people are going to use to find your product or service, and uh, it really is best if you do the SEO yourself. Now, the good news about SEO, it's not difficult, it's not technical, you don't have to do any programming or anything like that. Basically, you just need to know what to do. So remember, SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization, and SEO is basically all about getting your uh, website found as uh, high up as possible in the Google search engine results. If you're not using SEO, chances are your competitors are, in which case you're losing business. If your competitors show up better in Google for a particular phrase, you're losing business, you're losing customers. It's as simple as that. So if you want to check out our courses, basically we have two types of courses. We have the online training courses, or we have physical seminars run here in Perth in Western Australia. So anyway, I'll leave it there. Check out the website, um, see what you think. Look at the free tutorials on YouTube. Um, on the website, there's loads and loads of free stuff on there as well. Um, got any problems, go to the website, email me. Um, basically, we're just a tiny little company. You know, we are what you see, basically. Uh, I own the company, I run the company. Um, you know, we try and be as transparent as possible, uh, open as possible, and um, we don't try and trick people. And most of our uh, business comes in, as I say, via um, either YouTube or uh, Google. And increasingly, a lot of business is actually referred to us now, which is, let's face it, the best way to get business. Um, I've actually been in the SEO business since 1996, um, which was two clear years before Google was actually formed. Google was formed in uh, 1990, uh, when was it? 1998, I think, Google was formed. Um, so you might think, well, how is that possible? Well, believe it or not, there were search engines around before Google. It's just kind of dominated everything. So I'm kind of showing my age here, but back in the day there were things like um, uh, search engines called AltaVista and Lycos and Ask Jeeves and a whole lot of these early search engines which are kind of disappeared really. They, they just sort of bit in the dust and Google just sort of took over everything. So as I said, I've been doing SEO since um, 1996. Um, I have about half a dozen businesses. They're all based on um, internet advertising. I don't pay a penny in real advertising. I never use yellow pages, why would I? Um, I never advertise in the newspapers. I've never employed any salespeople. And um, as I said, I've been going continuously since 1996 um, with my first website. And I have about half a dozen different businesses, all of which basically, as I say, rely totally on um, either YouTube or um, Google for promotion. And, um, you know, it's just the best way of doing things. The, um, the return on investment is brilliant because you just don't have to lay out all this money to advertising companies. Anyway, I'll leave it with you. Any questions, check out the website, um, email me, call me. And um, as I say, just check out the free resources and then check out, as I say, either the, um, the online training materials or if you're lucky enough to live in a warm and beautiful Western Australia, come and see us on the seminars in Perth.